new very exciting features add to the view that I was waiting for some time. It is allowed now stereoscopic rendering. We have the panoramic rendering before HDRI, spherical, um, but also we have a new one, stereoscopic. So in this uh, kind of tutorials, I want to look on actually both. I want to touch up panoramic render because it is will related to some DR options we're going to do, but also focus on your stereoscopic look on what convergence type of mode and parallax depth, all these different types, we look um, what they do for us. So, but before we begin, let's kind of um, look what does this mean, all of this 2D, 3D, 360, stereo, VR, AR. So, what does all this meaning is? Okay, overall, let's look on this image and you can notice that this is just a simple 2D. Even if object representing um, kind of 3D simulation, we can see scale is changing, maybe some fog and haze also increase but this is image it's still 2d 3d image it is when um we start adding some stereoscopic effect to this um, in some cases you can know that uh, 3d movies producing with them you'll notice you don't actually change point of view what i mean by point of view like right here look i have my camera and i can take my camera and i can rotate look left and right this is I do actively so I'm kind of changing point of view in most movie where we look on the 3d movies or 2ds your view it is fixed camera so you cannot rotate the camera whatever director or producer or creator of the image they are focusing this image for you the next we'll go look let's look on the stereo and understand what stereo is most of us have uh, two eyes and uh, this is done with nature to help us distinguish some of the distance by analyzing parallax of the objects so for example here object and some sites not visible for one eye invisible for another and in a brain this is calculating distance on average we can accurately distance calculating for about 10 meters so that when parallax will affect in ours because a positioning between eyes somewhere between 5 8 to 6 9 it depends on a people but average it will say 6.4 centimeters between eyes and this will calculate of course we have it more advanced um, right now machinery like video cameras they work on parallax they can calculate and sharpen quite a bit um, even in NASA telescopes they're going for many many light years and they're also calculating based on a parallax on the microns of the parallax calculating how far is some objects far away in a distance but as um, we refer to inside the VU working with 3d and parallax here most time about 10 meters size you can see on a focus it's where you will be safe to uh, with some parallax options otherwise parallax become not so visible or not very effective so the next after this parallax will speak about um, stereo so next let's look on the 3d set, um, renders and three uh, 360 sorry 360 panoramic renders you'll notice right here we have some options to enable panoramic uh, rendering and when we enable the camera is stabilized which we want it in parallel we can um, provide image that will cover all 360 on this case that image if put it in special viewer you allow the user to rotate the camera and view on the object they're interested spherical it just add also full sky and floor this panoramic render actually is very useful it was for view for some time um, they do a little bit uh, boost up with a stereoscopic because it's require some adjustments but this is very useful because you can actually create HDRI um, images and use it those environments in a view or other application to speed up your renders and we will have an actual tutorial how to do this very fast and what is benefits of this to use it for the lighting and other things um, this is more panoramic 360 however in a 360 Okay, like right there, you can see we have 360. 
uh, position of the camera most time is set. So I can still rotate around now. I can look up and down. I can go all the way. However, I cannot move my camera. So if I want to go and look on the object around, I cannot do this. For this, I need effect the camera. And now we're going to inside the VR. VR it's allowed us to modify position of the observer. Technically, video games like, for example, World of Warcraft, it is one of the good example of virtual reality. Even it's performed on 2D on your screen, but you can see you can go around around the objects. You can look around all the way. So you are actually control in a way you're going where you look be around the object. So it's not a 2D. Um, if you add stereoscopic to this, you have it um, more VR experience. And as a VR experience, now you can have the ability to move your camera, look around behind the object. Um, think about this. If you can change position of the observer, go up, down, go left, right, or go around the object or affecting, this is more as a VR. Otherwise, it is more 360 viewer. Okay, also we have it, how I say, augmented reality. We won't touch here, but augmented reality let you overlay a computer generated image over real world. Example, Pokemon Go.